All right, welcome back guys to Cardboard Currencies. I am back from my traveling and I've brought back a Modern Horizons 2 box and I am ready to dig into it. So let's get it started. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests for uh, seeing if I have any uh, 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 the, oh, what do you call them? The old search lands. And uh, I've run out. So let's see if we can't pull a couple here. I am super stoked for this box. I love Modern Horizons 2. I loved all the retro frames and uh, the stuff that was in it. Just, it was a well thought out uh, product from Magic. Kind of like the, the same things I had to say about Battle Bond. Uh, really apply with Modern Horizons 2. I uh, really believe that Wizards kind of put their top minds on it and made a really sweet product. All right, let's dig in. All right, you might notice <laughs> I'm in a uh, in a brace here. I uh, made a fool of myself a little bit uh, coming home. Uh, tripped myself up in uh, in the airport and uh, landed face first on the concrete. So uh, trying to catch myself, I jacked myself up a little bit. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what that's about. So, I'll be fine. I think it's just a sprain. Oh, sweet. An Academy Manufacturer. That is an awesome pull. Karmic Guide. Abundant Harvest. And a Kitchen Imp. All right. Sweet. Pulls there. Uh, there to start off with. An Academy Manufacturer. That is a good one. One I actually just uh, bought for myself for one of the decks that I built. Uh, Eloise. Uh, yeah. She's a lot of fun. But yeah. Biffed it at the airport, jacked myself up. I don't think it's broken. It, it hurts. <laughs> uh, that's why it's in the brace. Hoping uh, hoping we can't uh, fix some of that hurt, maybe. Brea's Apprentice. Very cool. Little pool there. And a Mishra's Factory. Nice. That's fun. We'll put that over here. Galvanic Relay. A Step Through. Ooh, an Eternal Dominion. I don't think I've seen this card before. Search target opponent's library for an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card. Put that card into uh, play under your control. Then that player shuffles his or her library. Epic. For the rest of the game, you can't play spells. Ouch. That's pretty cool, though. That's a neat one. I'll, uh, I'll have to brew some jank around that. That is, uh, <laughs> That seems like a ton of fun. All right, but let's see if we can get anything good. I uh, had actually bought another box of this a while ago and uh, didn't open it on camera or anything, but was able to get some sweet cards, some of the top pulls. Uh, let's see if we can get some of that going here. Oh, nice, a Thrasta Tempest Roar. Very cool. Enchantress uh, Presence. Liquid Metal Torque. Oh, nice. And Esper Sentinel. This is a... That's a good one. Heck yeah. Foil Showcase. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. I don't know what that one's going for in its, uh, its foil price, but I think the... That one, like 10 bucks or something like that? 15, maybe? And it's normal. So, that one, that one might be uh, fetching a high price. Island to start us off with. Oh, boom. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Misty Rainforest. Nice. That is a sweet one. I think that's uh, one of the top ones you can get. Uh, of those uh, uh, search lands. Uh, Chitter Spitter. Sweet. Bone Shredder. Bloodhound. And a Guilt Blade. And a little token. Well, sweet. We got one so far. Can we get any more? Now those retro frame ones are the ones that you really want. Uh, I think there might be like a foil etched version, but I'm not really sure how you get those. I don't think they're in these boxes. Uh, you can go ahead and surprise me though. That would, uh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Gaia's Will on this one. An Extruder Mine Collapse and a Glimmer Bairn. All right, Gaia's Will, that's pretty cool. Now, 
Now, I think the top card that you can pull out of this is uh, Ragavan. Uh, he's a uh, red creature that uh, is going for like 80 bucks or something like that. Ornithopter of Paradise. This is a, a, a really good one. Good uh, alternate to Birds of Paradise. Uh, oh, there we go. Chef's Kiss. Chainer. Nightmare Adept. A Blacksmith Skill. Here, let's put those over there. And a Dray Keeper. All right. Man, the tokens aren't... Uh, I haven't been getting a lot of actual usable tokens. They've all been the, the minigame stuff. Ooh, that one hurt. All right, we got a forest. I guess I could be putting those lands over here too. Straighten this up a little bit. All right, let's see. Scuttle Tide. Ooh, boom, Arid Mesa. Out of that, uh, that alternate, uh, that alternate border. That is sweet. Heck yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, we'll throw that up there. Piru, the Volatile, Sterling Grove, Garadon, and a Terminal Agony. Nice, nice little pool there with the Arid Mesa. That is sweet. I think it might be like uh, 20 bucks. Red White isn't really a big one uh, for the, the tap lands. Usually uh, looks for like landfall decks. Uh, that that's the ones that usually uh look for these in in those colors it's not really a, a big thing oh cool sweet little signed art there yeah that's why the blue green one is so high salt talisman there uh because that's a, a lot of landfall decks are in those colors uh unmarked grave search your library for a non-legendary card that's a that's a sweet little tutor Put that card in your graveyard. Yeah. Some decks care about that. <laughs> and a calibrated blast for that foil rare. Nice. Yeah, that'll... Uh, uh, a lot of, lot of uh, commander decks and stuff want things in their graveyard. Very specific things sometimes. I love that art. That is beautiful. Probably not for that guy. That guy's probably thinking it sucks, but... All right, let's see. Come on, Territorial Cavu. Hunting Pack. A Bone Shards. A Young Necromancer. Wow, one rare out of that one. That, uh, that one hurt a little bit. I do love seeing all of these art cards because I feel like there was just a ton of art in this set. And uh, being able to see those uh, in the, the art cards is just always a blast. Nettle Cyst there. Nice little rare. Late to dinner. Okay. Nothing crazy. A little treasure there at the end. Which is nice because uh, I'm running out of those treasure tokens. A lot of people have been asking for them. Those are sweet. That is a sweet one. Got two suns there. That's pretty cool. Alright, Ravenous Squirrel, Squirrel Sanctuary. I think I see a trend here. Oh, nope. Okay, an Esper Sentinel. I thought maybe we were getting uh getting uh, the squirrel. Squirrel guy. But Nesper Sentinel, that's pretty cool. Uh Kirion Ranger, uh Terminal Agony, Soul of Migration, and a Stony Brook Banneret. Alright, cool. Well, two different versions of Esper Sentinel there. That is pretty cool. Uh, Esper Sentinel says whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card unless that player pays X, where X is Sentinel Esper's power or Esper Sentinel, whatever his power is. Uh, it is a, a pretty good staple. All right, Rishadan Dockhand. All right. A Seal of Cleansing, a Mind Collapse, and a Power Depot. Alright. Let's start us a new pile here. Uh, 
All right, so two sack land so far. I think we have room to improve. Maybe uh, an Urza Saga here. That'd be pretty sweet. That's beautiful. Starting off with a mountain. Monoskeleon. I was actually looking for that for uh, a couple of decks. Usuri Fortune's Flame. Very cool. With a Riptide Laboratory there. All right, good for Wizards decks. Tide Shaper and a Tragic Fall with the Thopter. Yep, I do enjoy Riptide Laboratory in uh, a couple Wizards decks that I had. Uh, I think it was Adela's worked really well with uh, with that card in there. That was a uh, that was a lot of fun. Starting off with a Mountain again. Maybe that's a good sign here. Break the ice. Ooh, nice. A Cauldra Complete. I think that's like a $4 card. A Seal of Removal, Faithless Salvaging, and Gargadon with a treasure. All right, come on. Give us something good. We've uh, started to, to sputter out here. Oh, there we go. There's a Chatterfang. That's, uh, that's what I thought we were headed towards there. Starting off with that Plains. Sweep the Skies, Radiant Epicure, Verdant Command. Okay, with a Patriarch's Bidding. All right, Prismatic uh, Ending. Cool. And then a, uh, a Foil version. That's pretty sweet. And an Evermind to end with. Uh, spells without mana cost can't be played. Draw a card. Evermind is blue. Splice onto an arcane. Oh, okay, so you have to splice it onto an arcane spell. That's pretty cool. Uh, arcane, that was before my time. Uh, but those were sorceries, and I think they could be instants too. Um, but they were, they were like a, a subtype of the spell. Starting off with the island. Here we go. Archfiend of Sorrows, Young Necromancer. Oh no, Alonis. Get that out of here. We'll just get rid of that. Bone Shredder. Glimmer Barn. Captured by Lagix. All right. Nothing crazy in that pack. Lonus got just printed to death. I think he was in like every list slot for ever. <laughs> it's just printed to death and so no value it didn't get played to begin with Ooh, that is beautiful start off with a swamp here galvanic relay junk winder calibrated blast okay yavimaya elder that's used in every green deck and a chatter storm with the kitchen amp okay that, uh, that Yavimaya is uh, nice. It's cheap, but it's, uh, it's a nice thing to have, especially when you have a, a bunch of commander decks and you've used them all up. Merktide Regent there. The Forest. Ornithopter of Paradise. Great card. And Thought Monitor. That's about a $2 card. Oh, nice. And a counter spell. Okay. Oh, send that over here. Aeromeba and a Galvanic Relay again with a clue. I needed some of those for, again, uh, Eloise. Great. She's just a ton of fun. I think I'll be doing a video on her soon. Uh, I didn't think I'd enjoy her as much as I have, but uh, yeah, I don't really play Aristocrat decks and I don't know. She was a ton of fun. I think that's Garth. Is that right? Yeah, Garth one eye. Starting off with that Plains. Give us something good. Fractured Sanity, a Zirin Orb, Combined Chrysalis, and a Flame Blitz. Oh, with a squirrel in the back. Nothing crazy good though. Let's reorganize that. There we go. Oh, this is really hurting the wrist, but that's all right. All right, let's see here. Very cool. Little island to start us off. Out of time. Oh, nice. There we go. Scalding Tarn. That's what we're looking for. More of those, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jade Avenger and uh, Diada's Ploy. Nice. Treasure in the back there. You aren't kidding. 
Man, three of them. Three of them. That is really good. I think that's my record so far for opening these boxes. How many uh, the search lands I can get. Oh my goodness, I don't want to jack any of these up. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, go for the gold here. Drossorg Bridge, I think, with a forest. Power Depot. Oh, nice. And Endurance. That is a $45 card right there. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta sleeve that one. And I have them right here. I made sure of it this time, guys. There has been more than one people that have pointed out that I am terrible at having sleeves available. Let's put that in here. Heck yeah. That is beautiful. Heck yeah. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that right there. Nevin Reels disc, nothing to really write home about. That, uh, that's going for like 75 cents or something. <laughs> All right, Blossoming Call, that's pretty cool. The Forest. Ooh, nice, a Murktide Regent. That's a, a 20, $25? Card. Yeah, and a glimpse of tomorrow. That's not nothing. Pretty cool though. Mog Salvage, Marble Gargoyle, and a Scourge Familiar. With a Timeless Witness in the back. Woo. Yep, that is a surefire sign that I need to start another pile. Oh, we picked this one up. Let's start with that one. That is cool. Little mountain there. Jade Avenger, Goblin Trap Runner, Batterbone. Oh, boom, Arid Mesa, that makes four. Heck yeah. Dang, making some money over here. My goodness, what a box. Heck yeah. Now, usually I'm opening these up, and I'm just kind of having fun with it. I, uh, I very rarely am hoping for, like, to sell any of the stuff. I mean, I do sell the stuff, but, uh, this is the first time I've really opened a box just because somebody's asked for some specific cards. Oh, nice, cool. Gaia Drone, the Hada. Sweet deal. That is a sweet little planeswalker right there. Heck yeah. Boom. An Ornithopter of Paradise. Oh my goodness, look at that Yavimaya Cradle. All foiled up and ready to go. That is beautiful. Wow, wow. With a, a Great Teacher's Decree there in the back. But I, I'm glad I'm able to uh, meet some people's needs here. Uh, <laughs> they asked for sack lands. I got them. Got them for you. All right, start off with that planes there. A Tizzerus Charger, said and done, a Necrogoyf, okay. Oh, and an Imperial Recruiter, that's a couple bucks. That is, uh, that's not bad there. And a nothing token. Those drive me crazy. You can't just give me, just give me a token. <laughs> I don't need these pack, uh, random pack games. I don't know. Mountain. Goldmire Bridge there. Oh, Sanctum Weaver. Got a little bit fast up on the rares there. Uh, Void Mirror. Hatchwork Gnomes. Nesta Shambler. Bottle Golem. And a clue. All right. Nothing too crazy there. Just snuck up on me. Oh, a Strike It Rich there. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. With a Swamp. Uh, Mist Vault Bridge. I did a really bad job of setting those off to the side, but... Oh my goodness! Holy crap, are we gonna pull all of them? <laughs> my goodness! Boom! Marsh Flats! Sweet! Angelic Curator there, World Weary. Oh man! Squirrel. 
Oh, but man, look at that. That is craziness. Just some craziness. Oh, man, what colors are we missing? I don't think we pulled a, a Golgari one. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, was there a Golgari one even in this one? I, I don't know. Uh, Verdant Catacomb, I think is what it was. I think it was. Tanglepool Bridge. Rakdos Headliner. Profane Tutor. That's a that's a good little tutor. Mishra's Factory. Blazing Root Wall. Smell Fear. And a Lesser Gargadon. Alright, well this box was definitely a success in my book. There was definitely some good stuff. Mountain here. Tireless Provisioner, a great card. Uh, Ignoble Hierarch, that's a pretty good one. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> a Cursed Totem, Bloodhound, and a Mind Collapse. Well, that's pretty sweet. Heck yeah. Uh, Noble Hierarch, I know, goes for uh, probably about four bucks. Damn. I don't know what damn goes for. But damn. Alright, last pack here. Let's see what we can get. I don't think we got... Did we get... I think we might have gotten... Endurance? Did we get Endurance on this one? I don't know. I don't think we got any of those uh, elementals. Let's, let's see if we can get one. A swamp. Lucid Dreams. Altar of the Goyf. A Sithis. Harvest Hand. That's pretty sweet. A Sylvan Anthem. Nice. Flame Rift. Step through and a sinister starfish. Gross. Okay, well, we. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it was. Endurance. We did really good. <laughs> we did really good on this box. Oh, man. All right, so we got Endurance, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, a different Arid Mesa, a Misty Rainforest. These ones are the, the top ones Scalding Tarn and uh, Misty Rainforest, so. That's pretty cool. But man alive. We pulled some great stuff there. Let's see. Let's go back through this. I mean, we can get uh, that out of here. But, uh... <laughs> Ignoble Hierarch. That was pretty cool. Uh, oh, man. I was super happy to get this Planeswalker. Heck, yeah. Super excited. Uh, Merktide Regent. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. So, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this box. Uh... Heck yeah, it uh, it did wonders. I'm pretty happy. Well, uh, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, like I did say before, like this box was to, to kind of uh, sell the, the lands I got from it. But usually I give people a pretty good deal. If you're wanting any of it, you can uh, email me. Let me know. I usually do TCG player minus 10%. But mostly this is for fun this is the first time i've kind of opened it solely because someone asked me to but uh yeah i've been cardboard currencies so i hope you had a great time i'll see you guys next time peace and love bye